y'all, my name's Angel, and I'm a three-year lymphoma survivor. This is Romeo. He's my best friend and my rock. This is my mama and daddy. Y'all can call him Mr. Johnny and Miss Christy. The four of us are closer than two roaches on a bacon bit. And this here is the story of how my mama and daddy sacrificed absolutely everything to save my life. It all started one hot summer's day in 2009 when my mama and daddy received a phone call from my vet, Dr. Catherine. She said the lump on my belly was cancer, lymphoma to be exact, and that I had to start chemotherapy treatment immediately, especially if I wanted to be the flower girl in mama and daddy's wedding. Dr. Catherine gave me just six months to live with chemotherapy alone, and Mama and Daddy were thinking about canceling the wedding to pay for my treatments. I wasn't ready to leave my family. I was only five years old. I was cornered like a rat in a trap. We had to do something awful fast, or I might not get to wear my dress. Thankfully, Mama and Daddy weren't about to lay down like some fat house cat. They wanted a cure. Doc said my only hope was a canine bone marrow transplant. The cost, $16,000. Even I know that's a lot of money, especially with just seven months to raise it all. And that's when Daddy said, let's do it. We'll call it Save an Angel. Mama and Daddy canceled their wedding rings and honeymoon to pay for my chemo, but the wedding would go on. Like I said, we do everything together. After the wedding, Mama and Daddy began selling everything but the bare necessities. After most of our belongings were gone, we started turning other people's trash into cash. Mama and Daddy dove in every dumpster between New Orleans and Baton Rouge in hopes of finding a toaster or any other thing that could be sold to pay for my cure. Daddy would fix up stuff that didn't work and then Mama would sell the stuff online. Our first real donation came from a lady at our first yard sale. She dropped two dollars in an empty pickle jar and said, for your doggy. Then she patted my head and walked away. That nice lady smelled like hope in full bloom. Her gift left both my mama and my daddy speechless. And while $2 may not sound like much to y'all, it meant the world to us. That woman's generosity changed our lives forever. And it was in that very moment that we all vowed to paw it forward after I got my cure. When it was clear we weren't going to raise the money in time doing yard sales alone, Mama gave all the proceeds from her Mardi Gras bee company to save an angel and began campaigning to save my life full time, a position she maintains to this day with no pay. Mama and Daddy were always on the computer in those days. It was before their phones were smart. We were on all the sociable sites and Daddy even started our own website. We contacted every canine cancer organization and fund that offered money to save dogs like me. We call all of the people and organizations that help save my life angel saints, because that's what they are. They're saints. At times, our goals seemed as unreachable as the stars themselves, but my parents never gave up hope. They loved me so deeply that they weren't willing to accept anything less than success. And I bet if you could put my parents' love into a syringe and injected it into my cancer, I wouldn't have even needed a bone marrow transplant. I don't think any puppy would. On May 2nd, 2010, the four of us stopped at Petco, packed up our car with knuckle bones, and headed to my cure. We were six months out from my diagnosis, and I'd be dead soon if it weren't for my mama and daddy's effort and sacrifice. On May 7th, 2010, I got my cure, a life-saving canine bone marrow transplant. I walked in that hospital as a cancer patient and left as a survivor, y'all. Thanks to my mom and daddy and all my saints, I had the rare opportunity to fight cancer and win. It's been three years since my transplant, and today the vets say I'm officially cured.